Here's another Prophecy News Watch update for November 2016. Recent studies have shown that amongst Christians, only 37% claim to read the Bible. As many as 62% of Americans say they would like to read the Bible more, but don't. The millennial generation, however, is the least engaged with only 12% Bible readers. The return of Jews to Israel in our modern day is considered a major fulfillment of end time prophecy. But this is only the beginning, according to experts. As a result, a new prophecy series called Decoding the Future is exploding in popularity as it reveals the prophetic timeline and is currently available in the Prophecy Newswatch store. Three Christians in Iran have been sentenced to 80 lashes by an Islamic court after they were found guilty of blasphemy for drinking communion wine. The three are due to be flogged in public after they were arrested at a church gathering. A war on fake news has been declared, but guess who's really the target? If Google, Facebook, and YouTube have their way, anyone reporting information outside the party line will be considered fake or propaganda. And they'll work hard to starve out the bloggers and citizen journalists who are providing an alternative point of view. While eyes have been focused on the U.S. elections, Christians around the world have experienced a dramatic increase in persecution. Dr. Vernon Brewer, president and founder of World Health, said, at no other time in history have Christians been as persecuted as they are now. Data shows that at least 10,000 Christians have been put to death during 2016 alone. Want to know more? Get the full story behind these headlines by signing up for a free Prophecy News Watch subscription right now at prophecynewswatch.com.